keep on working and let's see if we can bring all of our creations together and make one creation, okay? We are celebrating STEM Earth Day with many activities. We are learning how to reduce, reuse, and recycle. STEM is fully engaging. It incorporates various content areas. The kids, they get to build, they get to discover, they get to ask questions, and it's not as guided. The kids get to understand for themselves. Like right now, fifth graders, they are building these flood-proof homes. We are building a house and testing if it can survive the flood. I learned that climate change is really affecting the world and there's a lot of floods. Today in kindergarten, we've decided to split up our classrooms into three different experiments. We have a group of students who are trying to remove oil from feathers, um, even when there's like oil spills and birds. We have a group of students who are creating sculptures, um, reusing some recyclables that we've found. And then we have another group who's trying to find ways to reduce um, the pollution that they find in some of our water beds. They're all seeing how big of a problem pollution has really become and how we can help fix that. Second grade and third grade, they're doing activities um, looking at different soil. They're working on land pollution. I think it's really fun, especially because we're learning about pollution, and I've been trying to solve this problem a lot at home because I like science, math, technology, and engineering. I like STEM Day. We truly wanted the kids to be engaged in learning. We want them to have a fun experience learning about science, learning about the world, and learning about what they can do at this young age to help impact a better future for the future.